since you were last here, like, I've bought my house off the Earl of Bradford. And the agent died, you see. This character rung up from Cambridge and said, you know, we're coming up to uh, have a chat with you, you see. And Mr... just forgotten his name, but he liked to look at your steam engines. And I thought, ah, oh, and then Cambridge, you see, the <clears throat> big steam men down there, you know. <laughs> and they, they would come uh, up and I'll impress them with my steam engines and then I'll get a bit knocked off price at the house. Anyway, up they came and, you know, it happened to be raining that day, so we didn't bother going to work and we had steamroller taking over in the shed. <laughs> and this man from Cambridge appeared to be quite impressed and said, well, how much will you give me? Well, in the, you know, for the, this here house, you see. And I wandered around showing him all the bad points. So there's a nine inch bulge on the back, you know, and it's a bloody wonder it's not all in the river, you see. Um, and a bit of time went by and cutting a long story short, like we, we got it for 5,000 pounds and all this land and everything, you know. Uh, and so now it's up to me to you know, stop the bloody thing slipping into the river. Mm. All right, next one, Donald. Mm. Th this will go any road round. Wash is same on yeah. both sides. You've got the square bit out the middle. Well, very. It don't matter really. Mm. Yeah, I just keep screwing. It'll do that. Mm. Right. Oh, that's it. Beautiful. Mm. That should hold it up. That'll be here in a hundred and fifty year. That. Well, you won't. Once upon a time, it, it used to be a gatehouse, um, and in the historical buildings of Bolton, they've got it down as a single-storey gatehouse, and yet we, they don't know about this bit underground, you know, we live like semi-subterranean, like bunny rabbits. <laughs> when we first came, you know, there, there were a, noticed this great nasty bulge on the back, you know, and I thought, oh, I know why they've let me have this cheap, you know, <laughs> sort of... The bloody bike's going to fall out, and then one day, I think I was lying in bed, and there were one hell of a bang, and I thought, that's it, the bikes fell out, the outside four and a half fell out of the bloody place, and I were under a bit of a misapprehension, it was actually a gas explosion, you know, my, the wife come running upstairs screaming, <laughs> no eyebrows, <laughs> a big hole burnt in front of her dress, <laughs> bloody gas gooker had blown up. <laughs> Hitherto, Friend had regarded his domain merely as a shelter for his steam engines and his family. Now he began to feel pride in its possession and its idyllic situation. My house, which is sort of just over there behind all them trees, like in between there and here, there's the river, and then this, of course, is the cemetery, you know, where we'll all end up eventually. Um, in here, actually, somewhere, there's the, the first and, I think, only man in Bolton be killed by a lion. It seems that, that they've not quite got the preparations right. Like, they, they got this big cage at the local Wakes Week thing in 1890-summer, and the, the, um, they had these braziers with big, long iron rods, you see, and somebody forgot to light the bloody fires, you know. <laughs> anyway, the lion got the man, and there no iron rods, red-hot iron rods, for get him off him, and so it, he ended up in here, poor fella, you know. And then my dad used to tell me a tale about 
They had a big flood once and it washed one or two of them down the river, you know, like the corpses there is. The thing is that, you know, I don't whether there's any truth in it or not, I don't know, but I know down in that riverbed there, there's all, all sorts of gravestones. Right, when my time comes, you know, I, I think you, you couldn't really find a more peaceful and nicer cemetery than this, you know, it's nice and quiet, you know, they cut the grass regular. Um, not that you'd notice, like, when you're six foot under, but it's uh, much nicer than um, being turned into a little plastic bag or a tin can full of fag ash, isn't it? And sort of besides that, I wouldn't mind building my own gravestone, you know, like, make one like a chimney with a staging round the top, you know, lightning conductor on and everything. Um, very fancy, you know, one with a beautiful fancy top on it. <laughs>